Yeah, thanks, Paul. Secret operation at dollar ninety now, drifting favourite, position five. Crookwell Jake, that back three sixty into two sixty. Obviously, they've forgiven him for his run at Port Pirie on Tuesday, and if you didn't see that run, I could understand the move for it, but it was ordinary. And uh, they're the main two in the market. At dollar ninety-five, just before the jump, secret operation. Secret Jack from the inside, late driving change. Terry Brown, set, ready to go. Away in racing, even line. Favourite goes back at the start, showing the most speed on the inside. Secret Jack coming across was Jake Sport Rider to try and get outside the leader. Crookwell Jake goes back to the tail end of the field. Julius Franco settles down behind those in third placing, but he's got to take this one to the front for Barrier Six. Corey Jake Sport Rider lead time 12.7. Found the lead. Secret Jack takes the sit. On the outside, Julius Franco facing the breeze as they make their way down the back. There's a bit of a gap to Arthur Lowe, who's uh, got the opportunity to fill that 1-1 one -one position. Then in turn behind those was Canada Bay, a margin around 15 metres away to Soho Tsunami. Then the favoured secret operation. Back behind those was Crookwell, Jake and BG's Bandit at the tail end of the field. Lead time 12.7, first quarter comes up as 28.9 as they make their way around the bend. And Julius Franco goes up to eyeball and shade this leader with that 28-9 first quarter. That's Jake Sport Rider. Back behind those in third place on the inside following the leader was Secret Jack. Filling that position 1-1 one, one a bit better now is Arthur Lowe as they get the siren. He comes down E3 wide with a favour now. Secret Operation getting onto its back was Crookwell Jake and follows the right horse into the race. Canada Bay is three back the inside. Soho Tsunami and BG's Bandit at the tail end of the field. Around the bend they go and out in front Jake Sport Rider by a long neck. Julius Franco second. Secret Operation three wide. Gradually getting closer to the leader on the inside. Secret Jack follows the leader. Crookwell Jake, who's been best back to beat the favourite, is right on its back. And Danny says go and uses the speed for Secret Operation. And now burst to the lead. 30.2, that second section. 59.1. Or he put up a bit of a gap at the 400. He's out in front by 12 metres. Out of the pack, Crookwell Jake's trying to make ground. Jake Sport Rider's still there on the inside. The others are only battling away. Secret Operation's got a 15 metre the lead. He'd have to get very, very tired to get run down. 28 for the third quarter. Danny's nursing it into the front straight. Secret operation in front by 12 metres. Trying hard is Crookwell Jake in second placing. Getting very close, but secret operation wins by two metres on the line. Metre and a half. Crookwell Jake second. Jake Sport Raider third. Canada Bay was fourth. A margin to the others. BG's Bandit was on the inside. Then Secret Jack out wide making some ground. Very late, I suppose, was was Arthur Lowe alongside of it pulling up quickly Julius Franco and the last one home was Soho Tsunami. Good turn of foot down the back straight by the favourite, accelerated, was out three wide a fair way from home when Danny said go, set up a big lead. They got very close on the line but at one stage he was probably nearly 15 metres in front. He might have won by about a metre and a half, maybe two metres on the line. 210.4 was the gross time, 210.4, the mile rate 156.6, it's 5, 7, 6 and 8, 5, 7, 6, 8, fifth goes to number one, just too explosive, too fast the favourite, one and a half metres the official margin by nine, 5, 7, 6, 8 after race 6 here at Globe. Lead time 12.7, the quarters 28.9, 30.2, 28.4, 28.5, Last mile, 157.6. They went 59.1 and came home in 58.5. One and a half metres by nine, the margins. One and a half by nine. Secret operation, too fast.